I'm Dale Smith for Learning Politics, and one of the big achievements from the government this last year has been the permanent dental care program that they've rolled out. Now, while the NDP tries to take all of the credit for doing none of the work, we do have to remember that the thing they should be taking credit for is just how poorly this system is designed overall. Now, this is something that should have been done in conjunction with the provinces because this is really an area of provincial jurisdiction. However, one of the NDP's particular sticking points in the supply and confidence agreement they signed with the Liberals was that this needed to be a federally funded and delivered program and not a cost shared and provincially delivered program like it should have been um, with, with examples like uh, the child care agreements. The NDP insisted that no, this needed to be federal, so therefore we spent the first two years of this program using a really terrible kludge of having the CRA delivering this as a benefit through their system, which is the worst possible way to deliver a federal benefit. Um, but now, instead of this being something that is actually uh, a federal program, this is just a federally funded, privately delivered program because what the federal government has ended up doing with is partnering with a private insurance company uh, in order to deliver this program and merely paying those bills um, through the federal coffers. This is probably not the way this should have rolled out. This should have been done as a system which um, enhanced the uh, existing provincial dental care programs for low-income people um, and expanding it as necessary in order to cover more people. Um, but this was the stipulation of the NDP, um, and therefore, um, they are trying to take credit for all of this. Uh, and as the way things go, if this winds up turning out badly in the implementation, um, as it has every possibility to do, um, well, then the NDP will blame everything on the Liberals because that's also how, um, this, uh, kind of an agreement tends to work. The thing to be more careful for, though, in the coming year, um, not only is uh, as this dental care program rolls out, starting with people age 87 and then working backwards, um, is with this pre uh, um, previews for what uh, could be the pharmacare program that the NDP are trying to push. Now, the thing that we need to remember is that this is another area of provincial jurisdiction, and if the NDP try and make this a fully federal program, that's going to wind up in disaster. Um, pharmacare is something that is integral to the existing healthcare system and can't really be divorced from it because it also includes things like hospital delivered medications. Um, the NDP, through trying to uh, put forward or insist that the government put forward um, a framework legislation, seems to think that should that this should be able to work uh, in terms of provinces one by one opting in, um, and then somehow the system will all work together. When that's not really how this is going to work at all, uh, national pharmacare needs to be national from the start if it's going to work out economically. Um, and you can't simply be an opt-in and opt-out because that's not going to allow for the kinds of bulk purchasing or the national formulary that would need to be uh, negotiated with all of the provinces at the start and not as they go along. So while the NDP pat themselves on the back for dental care and the government goes along with it, um, this is something we need to be aware that could be um, a coming disaster as the year, uh, new year opens up. For Looting Politics, I'm Dale Smith.